So we continue. See, just as I thought. Hee <laughs> hee. So, isn't the power of Twilight amazing? Call me if you need the power again. It should help to find what you're looking for, don't you think? Alright, let's keep going. <laughs> so, we're going to be continuing following the path of scent, which is this way. You can see it's over here. Huh. Huh? What are they doing here? There. <laughs> this is a pretty elaborated gate. What are they trying to keep in or out? I bet it will be worth our while to dig in. Oh, definitely. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's the strongest attack from the wolf. It'll basically kill anything in one shot. So we're here. Ah, oh, there are the dark creatures there. And this is Kakariko Village. Or Kakariko Village, or... Uh, village. Because uh, all of a sudden English kind of changes the pronunciation of everything. <laughs> I, I like to call it Kakariko back in the. You know, like you pronounce it on Spanish. But people tend to call it Kakariko. So, there we go. So you can see these were a little more separate than the average ones in the beginning. We got a new portal open. And that's the Spirit of Light. I think they pretty much say the same things. I guess when they're broken, they just can't say anything else. Spirit of Light. La 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 la. Yeah, give me that. We got the vessel of light. <laughs> la la la. Insects and houses and explosions. I didn't want to talk to you. Okay, so let's move on. So the bugs in this town are very, very hard to find. Well, a little harder than the first ones. But they're not impossible, nor they're annoying at all. I guess it's just the first time that I was here, I took a little while to find them all. But it's really no big deal. As long as you pay close attention when Mitna is telling you to jump. There are ghosts in here. Okay, so there are their kids. Cripes! I don't see those black brutes anywhere. <coughs> they gotta be hiding somewhere, waiting for their helpless little prey to come out, and then they'll feast. <laughs> we are safe as long as we remain here, child. Be at ease. Oh, yeah. I wonder if monsters out there agree with you. They sure did seem impressed by the, my bombs. How long do you think we can hold these sanctuary against the beasts that strong, huh? Once they attack, it's over. Remember the lady from the general store? Just those things attacked her and the whole t gang from town wanted to save her. <coughs> And what happened? She was already gone, and there were two monsters waiting. Huh. You 
connecting the dots, that means that if we get attacked by them, then we'll be... BARNS! <laughs> Oh, that guy's a little too nervous. Look, Renato, all I mean to say is that it's risky here, too. And you got some place we can hide? There is a, a cellar. What? You got a cellar? Where's the entrance, man? <laughs> it's a bit impulsive. The entrance into the cellar is designed to open when all of the candles have been lit. I wish I had that technology. <laughs> I would not do that. When Father instructed me to secure the cellar, I was there were I saw insects insects beasts outs outside. Huh. Don't cry, Beth. It'll be okay. And Kachi is coming to save us all. Aww. <laughs> I can feel it. No, man, that's just, you just want to go poo. <laughs> So I guess the kid got a little faith in me. These kids knew you'd come save them. What a hero! <laughs> She's been so sarcastic. How sad it to be in front of someone and not know, not be noticed at all. Hehe. <laughs> you are the chosen by the gods, and only it keeps you from turning into a spirit, or worse, into a dark monster when you enter the twilight. And no one knows what you have done. You may be doomed to toil in obscurity forever. You're a type of worry about everything I can tell, blah blah blah, where Princess Zelda, she chose this state of affairs after all. Wow. You're, she's blaming Zelda. Anyways, what is with having the light candles in the basement? Not very subtle, is it? Uh, so what are you gonna do now, my lonely little hero? Hee <laughs> hee! Well, we gotta open the basement, cause down there is one of the insects of light. So we grab a stick, turn it on fire like Deku sticks, and now we turn little candles. Alright. It's open. Uh, if you talk to them, they're just gonna be like surprised, going like, oh, what happened? You know, like. They just thought that everything turned on by itself. Here are the bugs. It's a bit too tight in here too. Oh. A bit too tight to uh to do those special attacks. I guess we'll always get hearts. Oh look at this. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How about that? Looks like you can climb into the slab, whatever. And that was just the first step into finding all these bugs. There are a lot of them. But perhaps on the next part I'll be able to finish it. Who knows? Get out of here. Alright. Come on, die, 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 die. Urgh. Why are they so fast? My goodness. Chewing. So this is the graveyard. Remember this place? It's like... Mm -hmm. Right here in Kakariko Village. Alright. See if we can grab another one. Although I'm a little short on time, so. <coughs> Ah, oh, 
don't die. <laughs> I guess it, it, it is dangerous to go outside in town for the peoples. Huh. So I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.